I am going to make a bow and arrow using the stem from a silk flower, duct tape, felt, toothpicks, floral tape, yarn, and floss. To make the arrows, I use a small piece of duct tape, cover one end of a toothpick, fold it in half, and cut at an angle a little piece off the top, cut off the bottom corners, Trim it down to the size that you like. Cut small slits out of the sides. And now you have an arrow. For a more rustic look, I'm going to wrap the toothpicks in the floral tape. For the bow, I'm going to remove the stem from a silk plant, remove the leaves, bend it into the shape of a bow, Begin wrapping it in floral tape and be generous. Apply more tape to the middle so that it becomes thicker. Cut a small piece of felt, wrap it and glue it around the midsection, crisscross a piece of yarn over it, and use glue to secure in place. Trim off the excess, take a piece of dental floss, wrap it around the top, stretch it to the bottom and wrap it there as well and secure with glue. I am also going to make a bag to hold the arrows by cutting a rectangle out of a piece of felt, fold it over and apply glue to one end, then fold the other piece on top of that, glue one opening shut, glue on a piece of yarn or ribbon as a strap, and you're done. Happy crafting! This is Sophie's outdoor set for the bow and arrow photo shoot. The backdrop is actually just a painted piece of cardboard. I use craft paint, light blue, and white to make it look like a sky. And in the photography, I just Photoshop out that line in the back. And the grass is a green bathroom mat with a couple of stones on there for some added detail. A silk plant and a piece of a tree from my backyard helps to bring it all together. And that's pretty much it. So, see you later. What? No Starbucks? Nature is so overrated.